Today's obituaries are brought to you by Moss Service and Hansful Funeral Home. Graveside service for Charles Kenneth Tink Gorham, age 84 of Bowling Green, Kentucky, will be this afternoon at 1 o'clock at Coleman City Cemetery. Funeral service for Joseph David Drake Woods, age 47, will be today at Moss Service Funeral Home Chapel. The interment will be in Flint Creek Cemetery. Visitation for Lucille N. Galen, or Galen, age 90, will be tomorrow from 4.30 to 9 at Moss Service Funeral Home. And those are our obituaries for today, brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. moments in your life you want to remember forever. Preserve them in stone with the fine jewelry you'll find at Doug Doggett Jewelers in Coleman. Whether you're looking for the finest quality stones, designer jewelry, or a custom piece designed with your moment in mind, our knowledgeable and friendly staff can meet your needs. Selection, quality, expertise. You'll find all of this and more at Doug Doggett Jewelers. For your next unforgettable moment, come to Doug Doggett Jewelers in Coleman. As soon as you've conquered Coco Vin, there's chocolate to souffle, there's baklava to build from scratch, and Bernays to top epic fillets. There is you and your guts, and heat that you can trust. KitchenAid Even Heat technology gives you incredible control over sautéing, melting, and simmering, and the most even baking across all racks. And when everything you try turns out, there's so much more to make. I remember the moment. I'll never forget that moment. That moment? It was a moment that changed my life. I'd been training with my team for months, and now we had been called up for the first time. The real deal. Wildfires were getting dangerously close to homes. At that moment, I got my first taste of just how important the Guard is to my community. See how the Guard can be an important part of your life at NationalGuard.com. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Day on two, it is Monday the 26th of January, almost the end of the first month of the wow, year. Wow, I know. Wow, Super Bowl is Sunday. Ah, uh, no, and I know you're excited and looking <laughs> forward to it. And they finally have decided, I guess, to forget about that deflated football. Is that what they've decided? And I wish they would. Oh, okay. It's still up in the air. <laughs> well, I guess so. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. You can tell when a new story happens and there's not much else to talk about. Right. So then you make a big deal out of whatever you have. Right. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> well, let's start with the weather for today. Our weather forecast brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. The weather almanac, here's the day we've been waiting for, January 26th. The average high temperature is 52. <laughs> well, just because it's average doesn't mean we've hit it. <laughs> no, but it had been 51. So uh -oh. this means now oh. we're starting to get warmer oh. temperatures, one little degree at a time. <laughs> the average low is 32, the record high 75 in 1950, the record low four below in 1940. 
Sunset will be at 511, sunrise tomorrow at 648. Let's check the satellite picture, and uh, even though it's plenty cloudy outside, it looks like there's not a great deal of storm or rain activity over the southeast, at least in our part of the country. I guess up in New York City and Boston, they're preparing for some major winter weather. It'll be cloudy today, as you can see right now, with a high of 44, slight chance of rain. For tonight, an overnight low of 32. For tomorrow, warming up to 48 with partly cloudy skies. And I think we'll get into the 50s for the rest of the week, 52 on Wednesday, 55 Thursday, then dropping back into the upper 40s with low temperatures, a little bit above freezing, something like that. Typical January weather. Of course. And let's check our Facebook friend and see who is our friend for today. Kinsey Poston. And Kinsey likes Miranda. Miranda Sings? I don't know. And Forrest Gump. It's, it's well, is Miranda's... I don't know. Do you know what that is? Miranda Sings? And I know I, Forrest Gump. Yeah, I do too. Let's stick with that. I know <laughs> Forrest Gump. <laughs> and we were going to go, go ahead and give her that large barbecue sandwich from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. Just please remember, come by here first, pick up that certificate, and then you could go out there to the Berlin Quick Stop and get yourself a nice sandwich. You've been into the movies this last week. You went to American Sniper. I did, and, I did. And uh, watched a good movie last night. I did. I watched Schindler's List. I uh -huh. had seen it before. I stayed up till after 10 watching <laughs> that. So, uh, you know me, I, don't, I try to go to bed earlier than that. But anyway, um, it was very good, very moving. And you know, gosh, I think very, very realistic. I really feel like that's how it happened. And if you've never seen it before, it's a great movie mm -hmm. about wow. the whole Holocaust thing. And, and uh, oh, goodness, it's just think to think that really that kind of stuff's going on today. Yeah, It's going on right now, and it's against Christians. Mm -hmm. And, of course, it is against the Jews and stuff. So very, ugh, just, I don't know, very intense. Yeah. Another one of those intense movies. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Well, that's why you don't go to bed. You get so wrapped up in I it. I know. I thought about it all night long. I couldn't go to sleep, you know, and would wake up and then think about it and stuff. But uh, it's just everything that the, that the Jewish people went through. And it wasn't just the Jews. It was gypsies. Right. It was uh, several different groups that, mm -hmm. uh, that the Germans were after. And, you know, I commented to Mike. I said, I just can't understand how all those German soldiers just followed orders just killed people, just gassed them, just did whatever, mistreated them, really didn't even consider them human beings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but well, all maybe these... that was the whole point. You convinced them that these are not human beings. Yeah, I guess, uh -huh. I guess. But, uh, oh man, just really makes you sit back and think. Yeah, very you know? much so. Well, we'll continue with our program, see if we can give away our prizes for today. We'll show you our merchant ads right after this. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. With classic bolognese behind you, there are racks of lamb ahead. There are tartlets to take on and crazy knife skills to perfect. There is you and your muse, the appliance brand more chefs choose. Chefs choose KitchenAid for their homes more than any other brand. And when every machine does incredible things, there's so much more to make. I'll never forget that moment. That changed my life. At that moment, they hit me. This is why I joined the Guard. We're soldiers, always ready to protect our country. But we've also got communities. Family, friends, neighbors who count on us. 
I couldn't believe it. I just saved a life to somebody from my hometown. See what it means to be a citizen soldier at NationalGuard.com. It's time to give away our prizes for today, and let's hope we see what we have for prizes for today. We have tickets to the circus, Yay! and this is coming up on Sunday and Monday of next week. I forget the time on, uh, well, let's see, it's uh, on our ad yep. Sunday four? at uh, 4 o'clock, mm -hmm. and then next Monday, two performances, <laughs> 4.30 and 7.30. And the family pass will admit two adults and two children. Yeah, that's a great deal. Matter of fact, I think we'll probably give away a couple of those because we have several. Yeah. So uh, we'll give away a couple of those today. Uh, Coleman Pizza Hut is also providing a prize for today. And let's see what else we have. Golf at Chesley Oaks. Yes, round of golf. Chesley Oaks Golf Course are the prizes for today. So let's look at our ads. We'll ask you a question, of course, about one of these ads. I have a really easy question today. Starting with Dairy Queen, where the blizzard of the month for the month of January is birthday cake Oreo. I don't know if I've ever had a birthday cake of Oreos. No, me either. Well, that's your way to try it. <laughs> Be fit. Fitness facility right downtown Coleman next to Renard's Gallery right now. Take advantage of their $50 special for January. Steel Orchard. Check out their baked items. Yes, they're open year-round at Steel Orchard. They have apple pies, fried apple pies. They can even do apple cakes for you. And Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue featuring that $14.99 family barbecue pack. Just a pound of meat, two 16 outsides, and four buns. Located right there inside the Berlin Quick Stop. Earl's Body Shop, voted best automotive repair. They do towing, 24-hour towing available, as well as auto body repair. Earl's Body Shop. Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center has great fitness opportunities available. Indoor rubber walking track, great for days like today. Aerobic and cycling classes and indoor leisure pool. Chesley Oaks Golf Course, open seven days a week, a complete 18-hole golf course, full practice facility on County Road 1583 in Fairview. And Berkeley Bob's Coffee House and Whole Earth Store, complete espresso bar, and they have live music. Checking out their music. Uh, let's see, Saturday, January the 24th. Let's see, that was this past one. Saturday the 31st is going to be the next one. Ron Brown is going to be the... Yeah, I think that's what it was. There we go with some of our merchant ads for today. Like I said, I have an easy easy question for today. Okay. What is the blizzard of the month at Dairy Queen? We just said it. And we're going to give you two family passes Very to the good. circus coming up Sunday and Monday. Pizza and a round of golf. That sounds like a good deal to me. Those are the prizes. Our phone number is 256-734-7399. Go ahead and call in while we watch Money Matters brought to you by Premier Bank. Hi, this is Adam Shedd, loan officer with Premier Bank. These days you hear people talk about customer service. We at Premier Bank believe and take it seriously. Whether it's coming in the door and being greeted with a hello or a smile, or calling and talking to a live person, we take customer service seriously. So come by any of our nine locations and give us a try. You won't be disappointed. And we continue with a uh, phone call, right? Yes, we have we one. We have somebody ready to go who can answer our question for today, which is what is the blizzard of the month of Dairy Queen? Hello, who's calling? Luella. Hi, Luella. From where are you calling? Out at Walter. All righty. <laughs> What's the answer to our question? Birthday Oreo. Birthday Oreo Very is good. right. Stay on the line, please. Thanks Thank for you. calling in. Birthday cake Oreo. I gotta go by and try that. Yeah, it that sounds, sounds good. really good. An interesting mix, isn't it? Right. Okay, here we go with the rest of our merchant ads for today. Starting with Deb's Bookstore, your hometown bookstore just down the road. I stopped by there to get a book the other day, and Deb recommended another one. I ended up with two. Of course you did. <laughs> She's a good salesman. <laughs> Mr. Hicks Menswear and Formal Wear, Coleman's only men's specialty store for suits and sport coats for the men, right there at 217 Compass Way. 
Hair by Loretta, the color specialist. Hair care for the whole family. Loretta is now in a new location at the Bella Fair Day Spa and Salon. And that's in the warehouse district. Yes, it is. Uh huh. Grand Point Pharmacy. Coffee and gifts are available there. They're located right there on Highway uh, 31 North, just past 157 on the left, going north. Bowen's Body Shop. Over 50 years, they've been doing auto body repair and towing. You can count on them each and every day. That's Mullins Body Shop. Hot State Barns, where you can buy or rent to own. Barns and carports, play sets, utilities, trailers, storage buildings, you name it, they've got it at Cotton State Barns. Frostings, flavors of the month for January for you chocolate lovers. Hot chocolate. Ooh, that sounds like a great muffin, doesn't it? It does. Oreo cheesecake and uh, chocolate. What was the last I one? Forgot. I don't I know. See anyway, it. they're all good. Night free insurance. Those guys are good too, and they'll help you out with any of your insurance situations. Tires for less. More than just tires. They do oil changes, minor engine repair. They replace shocks and brakes. Open as early as 7.30, Monday through Friday. Pizza Hut. All-you-can-eat lunch buffet. It's a new featured pizza each and every day. The buffet runs from 11 to 2 for $5.99 and on Sunday nights from 5 until 8. There we go with the merchant ads for today. We'll take a break and we'll come back and see who's celebrating a birthday and look at our community billboards as well. Let's go! 50 Omaha set hot. Losing feeling in my toes. Nothing beats that new car smell. Chicken parm, you taste so good. Nationwide is on your side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Our community billboards are brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. <clears throat> 19th Annual Big Band Dance is going to be featuring the Coleman High Jazz Band. That's going to take place at the Civic Center on February the 6th from 7 to 9. There will be door prizes and refreshments and even instructors will present a free dance 30 minutes prior to the dance. It's $6 per person, $10 per couple. And the 12th Annual Empty Bowls Dinner will benefit Coleman Caring for Kids Food Bank. It's going to be held at First United Methodist Church in the Heron Hall. That's going to be on Monday, February the 16th from 4 until 6.30 and tickets are just $10. Silent auction also will be held. Carryouts are available. And the County Commissioner Gary Marchman is doing a community forum on Thursday uh, the 29th at West Point Town Hall. If you need more information give him a call at 256-775-4930. And there will be a barbecue baked potato dinner sponsored by the Coleman High School fishing team. And that's going to take place this Friday from 4.30 to 6 at the Coleman Middle School. The meal includes a barbecue stuffed potato and dessert and it'll cost $10 a plate. All proceeds go to the fishing team. Smithsonian Traveling Exhibition is held at the Evelyn Burrow Museum. That will start February the 10th, go through March the 20th. Go see The Way We Worked. And Frederick Arsenault is doing a book signing at the Huddle House in Hansville on Saturday, February the 21st. Horses of the proceeds go to St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. Stop by and get a book signed. And there's a scam alert. Individuals are calling 
pretending to be the IRS and demanding money or saying a refund is coming, scammers can sound threatening and will likely urge you to act immediately, tricking you into sharing private information leading to identity theft. The Better Business Bureau urges you to report these scams and there are the websites if you're interested and uh, can't jot them down, you can call up here and get those websites. But if you've been scammed, please contact the government because they're asking us to do that. And if you have community billboards you want to share, you can um, go ahead and do um, our, go to our webpage at channel2common.com. Give us a call 256-734-7399 or like us on Facebook at channel 2 Coleman. And we would like to wish Mr. Tim Richter a happy birthday today. His name will be put into the drawing on Friday where he has that possibility of winning an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. Now let's check the weather forecast one more time. Brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. Make the switch to Mitch. It'll be a cloudy day today and a high of 45. Overnight low tonight, 32. Partly cloudy tomorrow with a high of 48. And we'll be back with more of today on 2 right after this. Omaha said hi. Losing feeling in my toes. Nothing beats that new car smell. Chicken parm, you taste so good. Nationwide is on your side. <laughs> I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. There are moments in your life you want to remember forever. Preserve them in stone with the fine jewelry you'll find at Doug Doggett Jewelers in Coleman. Whether you're looking for the finest quality stones, designer jewelry, or a custom piece designed with your moment in mind, our knowledgeable and friendly staff can meet your needs. Selection, quality, expertise. You'll find all of this and more at Doug Doggett Jewelers. For your next unforgettable moment, come to Doug Doggett Jewelers in Coleman. As soon as you've conquered Coco Vin, there's chocolate to souffle, there's baklava to build from scratch, and Bernays to top epic fillets. There is you and your guts, and heat that you can trust. KitchenAid Even Heat technology gives you incredible control over sauteing, melting, and simmering, and the most even baking across all racks. And when everything you try turns out, there's so much more to make. I remember the moment. I'll never forget that moment. That moment? It was a moment that changed my life. I'd been training with my team for months, and now we had been called up for the first time. The real deal. Wildfires were getting dangerously close to homes. At that moment, I got my first taste of just how important the Guard is to my community. See how the Guard can be an important part of your life at NationalGuard.com. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. 
For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. have been talking about the circus coming to Coleman on Sunday and next Monday and the ringmaster is Woo! with us. This is Justin <laughs> Loomis. Good morning. Thank you for being with us today. Hey, glad to be here. Glad I could make it. Uh, well, considering your story about you left Fort Payne two hours ago. Yeah, right? a little over two but hours due to ago. weather problems. <laughs> it, yeah, the weather was horrible all the way here. Oh, what a drive. Wow. But, but I'm here and I'm glad you to be here. Made it. I made it. Yes. <laughs> and I can see why you're the ringmaster. You've got that voice. Oh, thank you. Yes, You've got you. that voice. You're also the owner of the circus. I am the owner of the circus. Yeah, okay. my father and I started the circus nearly 20 years ago. Okay. Yeah. And so it was one of those things, oh, I always wanted to be in the circus. <laughs> it was <laughs> kind of that way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My dad was in the circus business and my great uncle was in the circus business. Oh, so as a kid, I just fell in love with it. Yeah, and it's it in your came blood. Naturally. Yeah, it's, it's in my blood. Yeah. And once you get sawdust in your veins, as we say in the circus, <laughs> you, you can't get it out. You yeah. know, it's just something you you got to love it to do it. It's not something for everyone. It's, you mm -hmm. really got to have a passion for it. Right, because you travel all over. We travel huh? all the time. Yeah, we do a national tour all every year. You know, mm -hmm. we probably visit close to 80 cities a year. Wow. Yeah, yeah, in about eight different states. Yeah. And so we do a lot of traveling, a lot of moving, and so it's something you really got to love. You know, yeah. a lot of people are like, you're crazy. How do you do all that moving? Well, I don't know anything else, and when I'm home during our off season, I get bored. You know, yeah. I get itchy feet. I'm ready to go back and <laughs> get the road again. Definitely. Well, where is home? Uh, in Florida. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, just south of Ocala, Florida. Okay, is that where most circuses end up? I mean, there's it seems a lot, like a lot, a of, lot them. of circuses in Florida. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of circus people there and stuff. Yeah, and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. Florida's nice you know, during the winter time and when it's cold in other places. It's nice and warm down there for us right. and the animals, and right. we can work on equipment and things like that. And it's just easier weather-wise for us. So I think that's right. why a lot of circuses choose Florida as their home. Sure. And the animals. I was going to ask about them. You must have to have a large space in order to be able to maintain the. We animals do. We do. We have a to... huge ranch uh -huh. where, where the animals can be during our off okay. time when we're not traveling we okay. always take them back home we have a big beautiful facility for them and plenty of trees and water and all that stuff where they can have fun you know and time. what about the trainers do they live on site or 24 7 okay. with the animals always right. yeah oh our goodness. animal trainers are always there with the animals. so then you have to have housing for them as well yes wow yes. so we're talking about a major complex here mm -hmm. yeah yeah. Not just, they don't commute into town every day to go see their animals. They're no, there. they're there. Yeah. 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 The, the animal trainers are always with the animals. So they're, they're our first priority. They eat before we eat in the morning. Well, and I was going to ask about that. How much does an elephant eat in a day? Do you know? <laughs> Quite a bit. Well, we have three elephants, oh. and each one of our elephants on a daily basis will eat about 20 pounds of grain, about 20 pounds of produce, about six loaves of bread, and about three bales of hay, which is equal to about 100 pounds of hay, and they'll drink about 30 gallons of water. And that's for each individual <laughs> elephant every single day. You know, oh they my eat and gosh. drink. They're grazing animals, kind of like cattle. Mm -hmm. They eat all through the day. So all through mm -hmm. the day, they have hay in front of them always, and then they'll get their main meals uh, in the evening time they'll get their fruits and vegetables and then they'll get their grain and usually in the morning we'll give them loaves of bread or things like yeah. that yeah oh yeah. my goodness so when yeah. you're traveling you have to probably stop at grocery stores and places like that to pick up these supplies oh yeah you yeah and we always buy it local so much, you know huh? when the circus comes into town the first thing we look for is where can we get hay uh, you know yeah. and where can we get produce and uh -huh. where can we get bread and things <laughs> like that yeah so wow. that's always the, our first thing on the list when we get to town we usually try to have all that lined up so whoever uh, deals with the hay can deliver it to us and right. yeah we try to find a local supermarket that has some some uh, you know vegetables and loaves mm -hmm. of bread that are getting ready to expire that they right. want to get rid of because we buy such a large quantity whatever they have we'll yeah. take it and, right. yeah, and feed it to the animals so what? it's a boost of the economy yeah. local economy. what other animals are with the circus uh, we also have tigers yeah we have white oh, Siberian oh. tigers and orange Bengal tigers I bet you they yeah. eat a lot too they huh? do and they, they do. eat meat they eat meat they're yeah. the expensive ones <laughs> they are yeah <laughs> every every day we have six tigers and uh, their diet consists of uh, either red meat or, or uh, poultry mm -hmm. so we'll give them a mixture one day they'll get chicken one day they'll get beef and uh, also they give the raw eggs once a week 
on top of the meat, so it's good for their coat. Right. And they get vitamins too once a week as well. But each tiger eats about 15 pounds of raw meat every single day. Wow. <laughs> At least you don't have to <laughs> sit out there and grill it, right? No, no, no. <laughs> they, actually, if you cooked not, it, it would not, make them sick. Okay. So yeah, they, okay, they eat so they raw have meat. To eat the raw meat. Yeah, they sure yeah. do. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And are they pretty well trained? I mean, are they pretty tame? Well, well trained, uh, trained, but never tamed. Okay. They're, yeah, tigers are always a wild, wild animal. animal. It's just they've never been domesticated. It's just something that's in them. You can right. raise a tiger from a little baby, and when it grows up, it'll still bite you for no reason. That's well, just, that just what tigers do. Well, that was obvious with the big, big guys who were the two. Um, oh, with Siegfried oh, and Roy? Yeah. 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 See, they worked yeah. that act for 30 years without yeah. incident. Right. But it's just something that can have. It's the nature of the business. People mm -hmm. always ask me, well, aren't you afraid? Or aren't you this? Or aren't you that? Uh -huh. Well, it's no different than an airline pilot or someone in the military. You know, right. it's, it's the work we love to or do. Or a truck driver. Or a truck driver. They're out yeah, there. Yeah, we, we know the inherent risk and mm -hmm. we love the animals. We like being around them and it's, you know, right. it's something that, that we deal with. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Monkeys? Got any monkeys? No monkeys. Yeah, okay. we don't have any monkeys. We have ponies. Okay. Yeah, and we have poodles. Okay, so, so yeah. dancing poodles. Dancing I can poodles see with and little skirts on, little uh -huh. skirts on, yep. or whatever. So, oh yeah. my goodness. So, How about uh, acrobats? Oh, yes, yes, we have lots of acrobats. We okay. have acrobats uh, from Russia. We have acrobats from Colombia, South America. We have acrobats from Mexico. So, we have performers from all over the world. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And we have the motorcycle globe of death. Oh, yeah. You know, the okay. motorcycle riders get inside the big yes, ball and ride the big around. Ball and yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. And uh, we have something that's called a magical quick change act. And these folks are from Russia, and they change costumes right before your very eyes, like oh. 20 times in two minutes. It's unbelievable. Oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah, it's something you got to see it to believe it. Yeah, yeah it's a really good act. We have an all new show this year, so I know a lot of folks in the area may have came to the circus last year, and if they liked it last year, they're really going to love it this year. So we had a lot of new attractions. Yeah. So. And how many people in in, in your entourage? About about 30 people. Okay. Yeah, we travel with about 30 people on site. And then we have people that work at home, too. We have people, okay. a couple of people in the home office. We have about four people that go out and do the advertising. Okay. So all together, we're, we're close to 40 people when, mm -hmm. you, when you put it all together. But the, on the road staff, about 30. Right. About 30 people, uh, four semis, and, and a bunch you, of RV trailers. And you have to have the crew that puts up the tents. Yeah, and they everything's got to be take it down. put up and down every yeah. day. Yeah. Oh yeah, man, that's so amazing. Out. So you only stay like one to two nights in most places. Most of the time, yeah. Sometimes we have a three-day spot, but that's mm -hmm. rare. Mm -hmm. That's rare, and that feels like a vacation yeah. just to sit in town for three days. <laughs> most of the time, we do one day or two days. Yeah. And last year we were in Coleman for one day. Okay. And we had so many people, such a great success, that mm -hmm. the, the uh, manager of the uh, Agricultural Trade Center suggested two days this year. And I said, well, I think that's a good idea because mm -hmm. it, was, it was such a popular event. Right. So we're coming for two days this year. Now, you know, Sunday you're competing with Super Bowl. This is true. This is you true. Know. And that's always kind of a hit and miss. Uh -huh. But um, yeah. last year we did a Super Bowl Sunday performance, and it was a huge success. And, you know, we get a lot of moms and the little kids that don't want to sit in front of right. the television. So it gives them, gives them something to do on Super Bowl Sunday. Day when right. dad and his buddies are sitting there watching and the game. Probably dad's very excited. Y'all go on to the circus. Go ahead. Go. Okay. Yes. 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 I'll yes. sit here all by myself and watch the game. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, so they're excited about okay. that. Yeah. Now, now let me ask you this. This is an indoor venue. And the, and the first show will be uh, Sunday afternoon. Mm -hmm. Is there a possibility that people could watch setup or anything like that or not? Well, they could. They could if anybody stopped by, you know, that morning or something and wanted mm -hmm. to see some of the setup. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that okay. wouldn't be an impossibility, sure. I know that's always kind of a big thing when the circus comes to town. Yes. To watch, but usually you're expecting tents. In the tent, yeah, for a tented that. circus, it's always fun to watch the big top go up in the yeah. morning. Okay. You know, uh -huh. but uh, yeah, we're an indoor circus, so uh -huh. it's a little bit different. But uh, we have. Uh, everything that you would see in the big top just indoor comfort especially this time of the year right now is this going to be at the Ag Center or is it is it okay. is it's going to be at the Coleman okay. County Agricultural Trade Center so it really doesn't matter what the weather's doesn't like doesn't matter it's going to be nice and warm inside so uh -huh. yeah, right and that'll that'll be good yeah everybody will be excited about yeah, so that the show goes on rain or shine right okay <laughs> and of course that's this Sunday at starting at four o'clock four o'clock yeah okay. the, the shows last just shy of two hours about an hour 45 hour and 50 minute performance okay and that includes a uh, 10 or 15 minute interview mission we have a break we have a half time okay, so, okay. Yeah. and there's lots of activities to do during half time you can ride the elephants oh. we have elephant rides oh. yeah pony rides we have a big giant slide ride face painting for the kids so there's lots of fun stuff to yeah. do and of course all the traditional circus treats cotton candy popcorn snow cones all that good all stuff all those good things that make us sick yes we eat too much of it <laughs> yes but it's absolutely. okay we do it once or twice a year <laughs> yeah so it's okay exactly it's good yeah. to splurge a little bit now and then yeah and then monday you have two performances monday two performances 4:30 and 7:30 Okay. Yeah. 
All right, you know? a good deal. And so. we open the doors an hour prior to each showtime. Okay. And that's to give people a chance to get tickets and get in and get their seats. And then we have all the rides and activities go on before the show as well okay. as halftime. All right. So it's good to come early to get a good seat because we do have frequent full houses. Right. So. Now, before you leave, I want you to give us your official, like, opening for the for the uh, circus. You know, there's always, a, the ringmaster always has that wonderful voice and he just always does this great opening. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's so girls, if y'all are paying attention, you might want to lower his mic a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, get ready for fantastic acrobats, funny clowns, pretty girls, and happy animals. It's showtime at the Loomis Brothers Circus. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, you, you got that great voice. <laughs> you. I guess your dad was so proud. Yes, huh? yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Justin, and we'll see the circus Sunday and Monday. Sounds great. We're okay. looking forward to being back in Coleman, so we always feel very welcome here in town, and we're glad to be here for two days this year, good. and I think it's going to be a great event, and like I said, it's an all-new production this year, so folks, if you saw the circus last year, come on out this year, you'll see a brand new show with all the thrills of the circus. Everything you expect to see at the circus, you'll see here with us. We bring you a real traditional old-time American circus as it was meant to be seen. Good, good. Right. Thank you so much. You're and welcome. Be careful going back. Yes, yes, I will. Thank you. Thanks That's for our show me. for today. Thank you for watching Today on 2. Love was kind for